goes. Uh, spoiling basically the whole chapter. Yes, Mirio is now quirkless because he was shot by a quirk bullet. But not uh, because he was shot. No, he, as the ultimate kind-hearted hero, he decided to uh, protect Eri because they decided to shoot her, strangely enough. Well, actually, it's not that strange. Because, well, he a hero will always protect a person that is hurt. So they use that. Up until the very end, overall has been nothing but a monster. He must be stopped now before I really get mad. Yes, this is me, the Angry Anime Fan Despair Review. We're bringing a bad review of Boku no Hero. As I just said, the bullets that he sh shot with is indeed the quirky racing. Overhaul reveals in a flashback, though, that uh, uh, it's actually very, very difficult making these. Meaning that if Overhaul do get away and uh, with Eri and everything else up until this point, then these bullets really will become a reality because they're basically self-taught. So I think that actually means that he will not get away. And uh, this erases everything. So either way, he decides to shoot uh, Eri because, uh, well, they do not like her smile. So, uh, well... Um, and of course, Mirio decides to block that, which overhaul deems sick. I mean, in the end, he is not a single bit uh, different uh, than, uh, I mean, uh, Tomaru. He chides Tomaru for being, well, you know, uh, a psychopathic man-child who uh, did that and that. But he is not a single bit different. Every single thing he has done up until this point is simply to erase every single quirk because he hates dreams. He hates people that are dirty. And he hates just simply people. All, I mean, I can agree with hating people. I have... Uh, because the society is actually kind of dirty in real life. But I still feel like that is extremely petty and psychopathic man -childy. We see his flashback of how his father encouraged him to be how to become a hero. How he uh, developed his skills. Uh, how he met his friends. Uh, and uh, yes, many, many things more. Seeing that and him losing his quirk, I mean, that is extremely heartbroken. But that's, uh, basically that is... is. This is basically what this chapter is. It's to throw us in the ultimate despair. Overhaul, of course, taunt, uh, taunt Mirio, saying that now you have lost the quirk, you can no longer dream, because, well, he hates dreams and he hates smiles. But then something very good happens. Even though he lost his quirk, that doesn't mean he has lost his edge, because then... Um, Mirio will come back, and he still punches Overhaul. I mean, no, let's call him Shisaki, because he doesn't even deserve to be called Overhaul now, because that's just how much I hate him right now. He still fights, because he may have lost his quirk. I mean, Mirio may have lost his quirk, but he is still Lemillion. It's very heartbreaking for this, introducing a character like this, and then just suddenly eliminate his quirk, just for us to know that Deku really is the chosen one. I found that I would be I found that to be extremely character wasteful, but at least it also shows that Mirio is really a true hero. He is not the type of hero that will succumb to despair. We in real life all do succumb to despair. If I were there, I would have definitely succumbed to it. But uh, even all this, he will never allow the villains to get the glory, and he will all do everything he can to protect that girl's smiles. So he still fights, even though he cannot. Uh, he is no longer transparent. As he keeps on fighting against more and more hurt, he has still protects uh, Eri with all his might. But when it finally seems like uh, Shisaki has now cornered Mirio to the last uh, thing where he will now kill him, Deku finally crushes the wall and enters the fray. So please! Destroy Shisaki already and end this quirk erasing quest. <sighs> it's enough with this despair. It's pissing me off. All in all, as I said, it was a chapter full of despair, but at the same time very hopeful. A great balance of, em of gr enormous emotions and uh, enormous inspiration. All in But what awaits us now? I don't know. But this, I think this chapter confirmed it even more that Shisaki will be stopped because, well, 
he is uh, just he he just don't understand true people inspired heroes wonder how Deku now is gonna be like this is he gonna surrender himself to his emotions and let Shisaki get away I mean I really wish uh, someone would shoot Shisaki with the quirk racing bullet that would be the ultimate karma but I have a feeling like uh, that will never happen because that's too good to be true so that's basically this chapter yes I made uh, I d did say that and that I mean complain about that but I still wanted to review it because, well, as, a, as much as I hate despair, I do like to see inspirational hope. And as I said before, this chapter was a combination of that. Give me a fuzzy, Vavani.